What's up everyone? I hope you've been well. Personally, I've just gotten done with a rough work week. Everybody's been there before. Sometimes we just need to blow off a little bit of steam. I can think of no other re way I'd rather do that than to come to our local citrus wildlife management area. It's some of my favorite trails out here. Uh, also, I'm really hoping we might get lucky enough to find some muddy trails as it's been heavily raining the last couple of weeks or so. Then again, we've also been rocking some 90 degree temperatures lately. Today is no exception. It is hot out here. But let's go ahead, air down Loki's tires and get out on the trails and see what we can find for today. Golly, just spending the 10 minutes required out here to air down Loki to about 15 PSI just for a nice smooth ride. And my shirt is already drenched. Oh, it's so hot out here today, but no worries. We're ready. Let's go see what we can find for today. Good. 
So right now we're just kind of cruising around the northern section of Citrus here. Uh, one of the things I really enjoy about Citrus WMA is that it's just so easily accessible and just easy to get out here and enjoy some trails. You, you don't have to be an expert to come and enjoy the trails. You can really have any sort of experience level. Uh, typically, if you are able to find something that you might be able to get yourself in trouble with, there's usually some sort of bypass. I mean, there's a couple of exceptions, but there's really a little bit of everything out here. You know, up in the north, you've got some sandy trails that just go through the woods and you can just enjoy your time out here. Down towards the south where we're heading now, there's typically a little bit more uh, mud to be found down there. There's uh, a lot more water holes and and such and there's just so many uh technical obstacles in between that you can really uh just kind of get an experience for out here but I, i've wheeled these trails a hundred times and i just never get tired of them out here uh they're just so easy to come out the the trail system is a nice easy layout it's hard to get lost in here um and it's just it's just always a good time Well, it appears Trail 14 has been closed. It's interesting, probably, probably got pretty tore up with the rains, no doubt. Definitely not gonna mess with that. Luckily, we can still go up this way on Trail 14 because I still wanna continue down, uh, I think, it's 15 to continue on to the south, uh, but who knows, either way, we can still keep going, so let's go. Trouble. 
Well, I thought it was gonna be wet out here, but it's a little wetter than I was expecting, especially in this little water hole. Uh, I thought I might be able to make it through that one little uh, cut there. Uh, most of the other paths in this water hole are definite no-goes, but that one little cut, typically I can make that, but nah, not with all this water, and there's it seems to be a little chewed up down there, but all is good, at least I didn't get stuck in there because I, <laughs> I'm all alone out here and uh, the sun has set, which is, uh, is peaceful in itself, but definitely worth not taking too big a risk. Um, but all is well, I'm gonna continue on with this trail here and uh, start working our way out of here. Um, I've got a couple more trails that I wanna check out on our way out, but this is definitely definitely the little wheeling trip that I needed for the end of this week. Oh man, I can't tell you how much I needed this. But yeah, let's continue with the wheeling.
right, well, we have finally made it back to Trail 10 here. It's the road that I usually take to get to Citrus and hold their mine. That last little trail it got way tighter than I ever thought it was going to, but such a cool trail. It was basically driving through a tunnel of walls. I did not expect that. Uh, it's the one I was looking for. I see it every time I drive in. I've always wanted to check it out. I'm glad I found it. Uh, I have thoroughly enjoyed my adventure here today. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Uh, don't forget to take time and just enjoy life. But for now, you have a great week and we hope to see you on the next one. To learn more about us and find out ways to help support the adventures, visit our website, Sunshine State Vikings. And to keep up with our adventures, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Sunshine State Vikings.